Good day, everyone. This is for our American cousins. On Monday, the 20th of January, 2020, there's going to be a rally in Virginia. And they're going to be protesting the confiscation of their firearms. And from my understanding, they're going to be breaking the laws. The people that wrote the laws are going to be breaking the laws by trying to take Americans' guns away from them. And they're going to be breaking the law on a couple different levels on a federal constitutional level and also on a state level. I believe there have been a couple of laws passed in uh, 2012 to prevent this, even in times of crisis. Now, last time we had a big rally in America, it seemed that a death caused a lot of trouble down there. And I think maybe the pendulum swung the other way. It seems like the narrative has been uh, shifted by those in charge of it. All right, these things are normal events. And I feel that the people that made the law knew what would come. They know what's going on. They've set a trap for the American people. All right, guys? So I recommend that maybe you don't show up at that rally and spend the day locally in your areas, making new friends, and maybe vetting people that you might not want to be in your groups. All right? So I recommend to you guys that you vet out any Freemasons and Zionists, because after all, there's a lot of evidence that points towards Israel as being the culprit behind 9-11. All right, guys? So don't take the bait and go to Virginia. I'm sure you're all aware of each other's anger. It would just be a pageant, just a, a show to show up there. If you don't want to play into the power's hands, I recommend that you stay home or do things on your own. And uh, basically, pick your own battlefield, because you guys did not pick this as your battlefield. Someone else did it for you. And the organizers of this event may not be your buddies. So I recommend that you avoid their event. Now, if you feel strongly, and you feel like you're uh, in the right, and you feel that the politicians are actually the criminals that are breaking the law, and that they need to be brought to justice, if you're going to go to Virginia, I don't think you're going to be making a citizen's arrest because they've got all their goons protecting who you would consider criminals. All right? When the police want to make an arrest, they generally don't come knocking at your front door any longer. What they do is they wait till like 3 or 4 in the morning, boot your door in with a few guys, and they come in. All right? So to walk in the front door completely announced if the criminal is a dangerous one probably isn't a good idea if you feel like, you know, living the next, to the next day. All right? So I recommend that uh, if you really are serious about arresting these, making a citizen's arrest in an orderly manner, do it on your own time, on your terms. Don't show up on the 20th and expect the people that created these laws to roll over and say, oh, yeah, you know what, you're right, we're wrong. You know, they're not going to do that. There's a reason why this rally's been organized. And in America, man, you want to take away their firearms. I mean, it's a guarantee. Basically, it's putting like a nice, a nice piece of uh, bait into a trap. I'm a trapper. So if you want to catch uh, your quarry or whatever, your targeted species, you're going to pick a really nice piece of bait that's hard for them to resist. And taking away your firearms is that very thing, all right? You guys would give up your right to free speech before you give up your firearms, okay? I'm pretty sure of that. So keep that in mind. Um, if you're going to fight a civil war, do it on your own terms, uh, Create a good battlefield, uh, one that's uh, favorable, gives you a favorable outcome, all right? Don't let the enemy decide when and where your battles will be fought, okay? So if you honestly feel that they are guilty, these people, of constitutional violations, then you'd be a lot better off to uh, arrest them in a peaceful, orderly manner, even if you had to, you know, bring force, obviously, they're not going to come by themselves, all right? But do it on your own terms. I recommend this. I mean, I'm not an American. I can't tell you how to behave. I, would, I usually don't 
suggest things like this to the foreigners. You are our cousins, but it is your backyard. It's not our house. All right. Um, we have opinions on things here, but ultimately I do respect your, you know, your right, I feel your right to decide things. Okay, guys, so preserve your own lives. Don't give the press a reason to try and convince more people to take your firearms away from you. Um, just don't show up at that rally. They want you to do it, so if you want to protest what they want, then don't do what they want. Be defiant. Don't show up at the rally. Just have little meetings on your own. Talk about the future. You know, maybe discuss what kind of a country you'd like to have. Uh, do you want to continue on uh, killing people for Israel? I, I heard that 89% of your government is uh, are dual citizens with Israel. Now, this is a high number, and I find it hard to believe. Uh, it, it could be true. I haven't really researched it. I've seen it on the internet a few times, but I don't know if it's entirely true. I, haven't, I don't have a list. All right, guys, but maybe research it yourself. It's your country. But don't give your lives up easily, fellas. You know, don't, don't, don't step into a trap, okay? Don't put your head in that trap. No, don't go for that bait, whatever it is. All right, guys, please? Ladies? Um, America could have a good future if you change your government and... Uh, live what should be the American way. The American heart isn't reflected by the actions of America over the last 150, 200 years, all right? You guys shouldn't be the world's criminal, the world's murderer, the world's imperialist, okay? So just try and please consider what I'm saying. I don't know if a whole bunch of people will see this. I pretty much doubt it. Maybe a dozen people if we're lucky. But basically, don't show up and, and, and walk into their trap. There's a lot of people on the internet that I watched, uh, you know, some gun manufacturers, other guys, and uh, I don't know if they're really your buddy, okay? They, they kind of speak moderately, but don't even show up for the rally, perhaps. Like I said, you know you're angry. You know hundreds of thousands of your fellow citizens are angry, millions, perhaps, but just in that state. And what's the point of just showing up and putting yourself onto an enemy's camera um, catalog you know what I mean all they're gonna do is take your faces they might even follow some of you guys home and take your guns later or, or shortly after you know so the best thing to do is probably just stay away from that rally uh, make sure you voice your opinion with other Americans I you know don't hold your anger back basically let people know what you think talk it out but this rally itself is gonna be like a Charlotteville and this time I have a feeling that they're going to try and furate the nation with some uh, with some bloodshed. It's 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 my fear that this is going to happen. So don't play into their hands. And uh, if, like I said, if you feel the need to make arrests, then do it on your own terms, America. You know, set pick your battlefield and your time. Don't let the enemy choose it for you. All right, guys. All the best to you, guys. And the same thing's going on in Canada as well. They're going to take firearms away from people, and I don't know. History shows that it's uh, not a good thing that uh, happens after that happens. So we'll see what we can do here. But as far as you guys go, you're in immediate danger right now. You're about 48 hours out from uh, a turning point in your history, and you can determine the outcome. And sometimes the best thing to do is to do nothing when the enemy wants to do something, all right? When you want to do something, you guys go ahead, I would think, eh? Um, you handle your own affairs. I wish you the best. And I, I hope America's future is going to be a little different than its past. All right, guys. Good luck to you all. Oh, yeah, forget that race war bullcrap. They've been pushing this race war stuff on us. And, uh, you know, most people like each other regardless of the color of their skin. Don't let them draw lines because of race. It's a stupid reason to hate somebody. All right, my friends, good luck to all of you. Take her easy, guys. Good day, America.